Praise God, praise God, Holy Ghost power. Good morning. Good morning. In every believer's life, you will have mountain highs and valley lows. You will have days when you wonder, where is God? And then he'll speak in a still small voice. Trust the process. You wonder if you made the right choice. You wonder if you're on the right course. Did you hear his voice? Then you hear in that still small Trust the process. That's all it is. It's just the process. Just know that you are. You are created for purpose. You are created for a reason. To be the healing bomb for someone else. Just know you are, you are the healing bomb for someone else. And in this life, friends will come and friends will go. And you wonder why this pain, day in and day out, why does it seem to stay? Put these issues and trials go away. But then he'll speak to you in that still small voice. Trust the process. That's all it is. It's just the process. Not just for a house and not just for a car. But it's for you to be an encouragement for somebody else. Remember that time you was going through, somebody encouraged you. So now it's your time to be a healing boss. Someone else. someone else so you wonder why friends walked away and you wonder why these trials seem to stay and where these issues and these burdens that I carry day in and day out and you hear I hear you got trust the process there's a reason for it all just trust it's us. Just the I've been placed inside of you. you are the healer. The, the ability someone to be an encouragement to someone else. Just know that you are. You are the healer. Yeah, someone else. someone else. My own testimony is there was a time in my life where I was home. It was a time that I didn't know which way to go. I wanted to give up and throw in the towel. But then I remember my mother saying, Scott, put a song in your soul. Put a song in your spirit. Let the going make it rough and the going make it tough. The heels, they're hard to climb. So I told my choir, the going make it rough.
just sing this in your spirit. You are the healing. Those tears before a reason. Those heartaches before a reason. When the friends walked away. Somebody needs to hear. It seems like they left you for dead. So they don't know that they're not alone. You are, you are. It was the reason for it all. You are the healing bomb. You are the healing bomb. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, this is Sister Leslie. Hey, Aunt Amelia. Good morning. Hey, this is Sister Yvonne. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Reverend, good morning. every time there's a song that references balm, I think about Brianna, who uh, just told us earlier this year that she realized it was balm and not balm. <laughs> so I wonder if she thought it was healing balm for somebody else. Like, she's like, how is that working? Well, praise God. Praise God, everyone. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will yeah, rejoice Lord. and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still in the Lenten season. Lenten season. Praise God. So we are praying. We are fasting. We are almsgiving. Uh, uh, Benevolence, acts of benevol benevolence and, and charity. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it is also Women's History Month. Praise God. So shout out, big shout out, all the love, praise, support, and uh, thanksgiving for our women uh, that hold up the Remnant Family Worship Center. Without you, there would be no Remnant Family Worship Center, literally, figuratively. Uh, in all of the uh, turns of phrase, there would be no us without you, and we salute you. Um, a brief quote from uh, the legendary Maya Angelou. Each time a woman stands up for herself, without knowing it, possibly, without claiming it, she stands up for all women. So keep standing, women. Keep standing. God bless you on this morning as we begin uh, this morning service uh, and as we uh, give you your flowers uh, in this period. God bless you. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless this morning service. Heavenly Father, we ask that your spirit run up and down uh, our virtual sanctuary. Heavenly Father, we ask that all those that are on uh, this morning will be blessed and those that aren't able to make it, Heavenly Father, that you visit them as well. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for our, uh, our fellowship. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the angel of the house. Heavenly Father, we ask that you fall fresh on him anew with the Holy Spirit, giving him a word that will bless us. Heavenly Father, we ask that you continue to bless everyone united in our circle. Heavenly Father, continue to expand territories, Lord, and increase ministries, Lord. We ask these things in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And thank God. Hallelujah. Uh, at this time, we will have our hymn, May the Work I've Done Speak for Me. Good morning, Sister Esther, Sister Ada. Good morning and welcome.
already this morning. May the work, the work that you have done will speak for you. And we were told in the previous message, that song, um, to trust the process, trust the process. And uh, Reverend Scott said that his mother told him to keep a song in his heart for when the times get rough. Keep a song in your heart. May the work I've done speak for me. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, we will have scripture by Sister Maureen Dennis. And then following that, we will have prayer by Sister Leslie Sierra in that order. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Happy Women's History Month. Good morning, Remnant family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so scripture is coming from Ruth 1, 16 and 17. And this actually brings me back to my childhood. It's one of those scriptures, you know, in Sunday school, you had to learn, you had to learn. And the word is as follows. And Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people and thy God, my God. Where thou diest, will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. The word of God is blessed. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Women's History Month. A month that's filled in rich Black history about women. So. Amen. <laughs> Keep standing, as Brother Keith said. Keep standing. Our kind and most gracious Father, we bid you good morning. We are so grateful for the opportunity to have another chance to praise you, to lift you up, mm -hmm. to hear your words, sing your songs. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father God, we are ever grateful. Mm -hmm. We ask, Father God, that you join us in this service as we lift you up. Join us, each and every one of us. Father God, we are so grateful for the opportunity to praise you. Father mm -hmm. God, we just ask that you touch, heal, and deliver those on our sick list. Oh, Father God, we know you've been with them every step of the way. And in advance, we say thank you for thank all that we thank you. are asking. Father God, we ask that you touch the leader of this house, Reverend mm -hmm. Calvin, and you yeah. give him a word from on high that he can depart to us so it's in our understanding and in our spirits. Father God, we thank you for him. We thank, thank you for blessing him with your word, Father God. And we bless you for bringing and keeping him yes. through the week. And Father God, we ask that you continue to do so. And Father God, we just want to say thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, you thank for you. all you have done this yeah. week and will continue to do next week. Thank yeah. you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Leslie. Thank mm. you, Sister Mo. Praise God. And at this time in our program, we'd like to welcome you. Um, I've heard some voices. Uh, Sister Amelia, would you give us a welcome for those that are online on the phone? Uh, on Facebook and YouTube, please. Thank God, thank God. Praise God. Good morning, my remnant family. Good morning. It's been a long time. Last week was put the icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even I couldn't even hold the phone. It was such a beautiful service, and I've been talking about it all week. Me mm -hmm. and Pastor Whitney. <laughs> he sends his regards always. Sends his regards. Mm -hmm. And to the shepherd of this house, I don't know what he did for you, but God knows he did it. Mm -hmm. He did mm -hmm. it. He did it. Yes. Well, I'm here to welcome you. I know that if you don't feel welcomed yet, you will be before this service is over. To everyone that's on the line, listening, looking, or how, however you're participating. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. We love you and we want you to come again. Don't forget the address, the telephone numbers, or whatever, however you get in touch, if you so desire. Mm. We love you. We love you. We really love you. And mm. to my nephew, Keith, you know I love you. <laughs> okay. Love you. Every we love you. The remnants, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. And please join us again. Join us again whenever you so desire. Call us again. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Aunt Amelia. Thank you so much. Uh, you are welcome. We will now have a, a uh, we have a selection from our music ministry. Praise God, our missionary in training, Sister Brenda Cyrus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, early in 
in the morning, a storm shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crown around the glassy sea. Should you been and circling, falling down before thee, which went an art and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 through the darkness hide thee, through the eyes of sinful men thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, love and purity, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy works shall praise thy name in earth and skies and seas. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Amen. 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 Amen, Sister Brenda. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for that soulful ministering of the word. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory Lord. to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you for me getting on this morning. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Lord. Thank um, you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the devil thought he had me. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Thank you. Jesus. All right. Thank you. All right. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, if if the remnant family, if God has ever blessed you, praise God, then there are ways for you to be a blessing to the ministry, be a blessing to the kingdom. Praise God. We worship through giving. and God loves a cheerful giver. There are a couple ways that you can do that uh, through Cash App, dollar sign remnant family WC, and through Givelify with the link below, https double slash giv dot li slash dwfob. Take a screenshot uh, or click on the link uh, or just search the Remnant Family WC uh, in the search bar 
and you'll be able to give. You'll be able to uh, keep track of your giving, uh, print out the statement at the end of the year, give it to your tax person. Praise God. Uh, you'll get credit in heaven and on earth. Uh, we thank you in advance. Praise God for your charity, for your benevolence. Uh, and we know once again that you are just giving God back what he has given you. Praise God. A few announcements, a few announcements. Um, if you have any questions, any concerns, if you need prayer, if someone else you know needs prayer, call or text 646-287-8972. You don't even have to know. You can just, if you just see a random person that needs prayer. I saw a lady on the train. I text uh, Reverend Cal uh, Calvin. Uh, we need to pray for this lady on the train. I don't even know her name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you can email the remnant FWC at gmail.com. Praise God if you need anything. On our social media, we are encouraging everyone to like, subscribe, and share. The Facebook page, if you're on Facebook, the YouTube page, if you're on YouTube, the Instagram page, if you're on Instagram, we want to increase our territory, praise God. Um, we want more people to know that there is uh, a word uh, mm -hmm. that, that may be tailor fitted for them, praise God. How will they know if they don't hear, mm -hmm. praise God. The Remnant Family Worship Center, Inc., our, our online services. In our virtual sanctuary, as we are on here, it is 717-1499-8095. That is our Sunday morning worship experience, um, as well as our, that's our Sunday morning experience, and our Tuesday night Bible study, praise God, and prayer. Uh, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m., we are on the 339-209-4712. That is morning manna, as well as our midweek recharge, 339-209-4712. Praise God. We look forward to seeing and hearing you uh, from Pastor Calvin's desk. We have made it one year as a church. As we continue on this journey, let's live each day knowing that God is not through with us yet. There is still potential in us. He is still working things out on our behalf. We aren't meant to be like anyone else. We are different on purpose. So don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Mm. Happy anniversary, Remnant. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Uh, the Amen. next voice that you will hear uh, will be setting the atmosphere uh, for the word that will be brought by our pastor, Calvin Anthony Chandler, senior pastor of the Remnant Family Baptist Church. Praise Amen. Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace be multiplied to each and every one of you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is another day's journey, and we are so glad about it. God has saw fit to allow our golden moments to roll on just a little while longer. And yes, because God. we are in the land of the living, we ought to have an attitude of gratitude. To simply tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are humbled and honored that God has brought us back together mm -hmm. uh, in our virtual sanctuary one more time. Amen. Uh, we had such a great time on last week as we celebrated mm -hmm. our first anniversary. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Yeah. Gail preached my heart happy. Man. Yeah. And we had yeah. a wonderful time. We are praying for her this morning as she is preaching at her church, the Amity Baptist Church on this morning. Yeah. And we're keeping her lifted in prayer. Uh, we're also praying for the Ruth family. Uh, Deacon Thurman Jimmy Ruth, he, he has played for us in Mount Sinai uh, down through the years. Uh, he His homegoing service was actually on yesterday. He transitioned. We're praying for his daughter, Sheriff, and the family. A reminder that on today will be the homegoing celebration for Reverend Thomas Moore of the Shiloh Baptist Church. So we're keeping them covered in prayer. His service will start, I believe, at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. and will be held at Mount Sinai. Amen. We know what it's like for our pastor to retire. We don't know the pain of losing a pastor. Right. 
we're praying for the Shiloh Baptist Church. Amen. We are just so excited to see what God is taking us. That we have survived and last our circle has not been broken. Amen. Amen. God is no good. It is so good to hear all your voices and to see all your names and the faces of those. It's good to hear from Sister Esther. Amen. I, I happen to love Sister Esther. Come on, and especially when she speaks, because she love you too. The, the swag in her voice, <laughs> that what she does, just so elegant. You gonna laugh, and and it's a serious voice, but her yeah. human character, I just love it. Amen. Amen. Sister Ada, Amen. Sister Brenda and Sister uh, uh, Leslie, and Sister Maureen. Amen. Sister Yvonne, God bless you. Deacon Cyrus, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Aunt Betty, uh, everyone on Facebook, we love each and every one of you. But there is a word from the Lord. Uh, on Tuesday night, we had Bible study. We talked about prayer. I was talking to a friend of mine and we were going back and forth discussing prayer. And she came for me, bless God. But we thank God that people is willing to uh, challenge you to make you better. Mm. And, and we started talking and this thing resonated so much in my spirit that although we taught it on Tuesday night, we're going to preach it today. The Lord told us to go back here. The people need to understand that there is a fragrance in prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk right. about prayer coming from the book of Revelations. And so after yeah. the song... We're coming to the book of Revelations, chapter number eight. And Revelations, chapter number
Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Right. The solid rock I stand. Yes. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Father God, because the second hour of preachment, I've studied, but I need your strength. I prepare, but I need your power. Do it again, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Revelations chapter number eight. The book of eschatology, chapter number eight. Good minutes reading at verse number three. And another angel came and stood at the altar of the golden sister, and he was given much incense to offer with the prayer of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. The word of God for people of God, so we'll say glory be to God. Beloved, uh, when, when, when we gather to pair during the course of the week for worship experience, 99.9% .9 of the times we do not discuss with each other what's going on. If truth be told, uh, I, I love the way the remnant work is. I do not know the order of service, what the hymn will be, who's doing what until Saturday, the day before worship. I get a text message and I follow the list that's given as I built the slides. My only responsibility is, is I pick the song that we open up to. And if there's a song we use to close out. Uh, Sister Brenda does not know the songs I'm picking to open up or the song before the sermon. It's we allow the Holy Ghost to use us and we respect Amen. each other the Holy Ghost enough. Amen. Gather to worship. It looks like we've been planning this and we've been discussing it all week long. We heard in the first part of the service that we ought to trust the process. I'm preaching already. I'm going to get to prayer, but it all ties in. We have to understand that no matter what we're doing, we have to trust the process. Things may not feel right. Things we may not understand. However, we are to trust the process because we are the healing bomb. Amen. B-A-L Embry to someone else. We have to trust the process, and no matter what we're going through this process, we, we must still sing holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Early in the morning, my song shall rise to thee, that no matter what, we serve a good uh, God. God has told us that, 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 that he is good, and that we don't have to worry about anything, because... Yeah trust the process then we have to understand that the may the work we've done is going to speak for us that yeah. no matter what happened on this earth no matter what we do everything we do we have to answer for we have to we have to stand before that beam of seat if you will and answer for every deed we have done everything negative and positive that we have done in the course of our life we have to speak for, we have to go. And then we heard that my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood uh, and righteousness. No matter what's going on, we have to stand on Christ, the solid rock we stand, or other ground is sinking sand. Beloved, how does this tie in with prayer? Why? Because my grandmama singing like this, that prayer is communication, prayer is inspiration, prayer is the way we talk to God. We have to have a conversation with God. We have to have to commune with God. We have to talk to God because we going to get crazy on this journey. We're going to have some good days. We're going to smile. But when we are crying and when we don't have enough money to pay bills, when we, we have to go to God in prayer. We have to talk to the Father, the only one who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. We have to know how to have a conversation with the Lord. It was at an early age, 
early age in my life, I, I came to a realization that it wasn't because of any goodness of my own, anything I have done, but it was the prayers of my family that got me where I am. It, it was the prayers of my grandmother, my aunties, my uncles, uh, praying for me, my mother praying for me. They prayed over me, even when I couldn't pray for myself. They, they had to pray for me on this first uh, uh, Sunday in Women's History Month, I honor the mighty women of God who, who covered me in prayer. Uh, I can share this with Brother Keith. Mm -hmm. We grew up together in Mount Sinai. Uh -huh. we, they, they, they prayed for us. Cadelia Snyder, Dorothy Canty, Emma Ragsdale, Mary Wright, uh, Mother Bertha Franklin, Deaconess Dolores White, uh, Mother Wyatt. They, they prayed for us. I remember many days going to Mother Wyatt's house and, and she would not only pray for us, but she would cook for us. And, yeah. Yes, yes. You would yes. sit down and eat and, and she let us go walk the dog and she she poured into us and 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 we remember this why because it was mm. some anointed woman that was praying for us i can remember that we have to learn the power of prayer <laughs> I was yes. standing with my aunt. She's on my mother. She's on my grandmother. She's on. We, we, we went down south and we were praying around my great grandmother's bedside. And we prayed that the Lord would heal her. And, and he did exactly what we had. He just did it on that side. And we huh. had a conversation because we had a conversation with yeah. the Lord. You and I were spirit that this was the last time we'll see her. But we understood what was taking place because. All right. God spoke to us and talked back to us so we were prepared for what's to come. We have to understand that prayer is a privilege. All right. Yeah. yeah. All privilege right. privilege yeah. on many. It's a privilege to, to, privilege to pray. A privilege simply means a right, immunity, or a benefit enjoyed by a particular person or a restricted group of people beyond the advantages of most. See, everybody don't know there's power in prayer. Everybody yeah. don't Yes, I'm yes. Through, but I'm so happy that the yeah. sanctified Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized that, that yeah. I have an audience with God. I have yeah. audience with the one who created the universe. I have an audience where I can call upon him. Jeremiah yeah. 33 yeah. says, call upon me and I will answer thee and show you great in David said it like this, call upon me in your trouble that will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. We have to understand that prayer is essential. Chester T.C. Baldwin, prayer is communication. Prayer is inspiration. Prayer is simply the way we talk to God. I can go to my knees in secret prayer. I know he will be right there because prayer works. I'm not telling you what someone told me. I know my grandmother can pray. I know my mama can pray, but I'm not telling what they told me. I'm telling you what I know from because when all hell would have breaking loose in my life, I had to go to God for myself. And all right, all right. How do we communicate with God? Yes, yes. We communicate with God through prayer. Prayer can take forms. Prayer can be in worship. Prayer can be in praise. And prayer can be in adoration. Yes. Mary, yes. come in, Mary. Mary got down to the feet of Jesus. <laughs> Adorn him and communicating with him and, and sharing her heart, just loving and telling him uh, uh, that she loved him. David said, I will bless the Lord at all time and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Then he said, let's make this a group thing. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Yes. Petition. Uh -huh. This is probably the most common prayer that I want, I need prayer. Don't get me wrong, the petition is good, but 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 you have to understand that the prayer is always supposed to be about you. Yes. People only pray what I want, I need. Lord, give me, give me, give me. But you have to remember that there's something called the prayer of intercession. This All is right. the manner so much that we gather every 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 Monday to Friday at 7:30 hour just to gather and pray for someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, how we, we're not selfish with this thing because we have the privilege to prayer. So there may be someone who don't know the, the worth of prayer. There may be someone who can't pray for themselves. There's someone crying, there's someone going through bereavement that someone going through they can't pray so guess what beloved the remnant every morning monday to friday at 7 30 a.m we gather yeah. we prayer list and we call yeah. every name on the list it yeah. doesn't matter how long it takes it doesn't matter how yeah. many this we make sure we do our part as intercessors yes yes every name because we need to pray for others we need to pray for the ones in authority, we need to pray for our nation. 
the model prayer tells us how we are to pray our father who art in heaven uh yes. that's the worship part thy kingdom come that will be done that's the intercession yes. give us today our daily best our daily bread and forgive our trespasses yes. as yes. who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil that's the petition for thine yes. is the kingdom the yes. power and the glory forever that's where we worship god yes. Yes, we have yes. to understand that prayer is a privilege and oh. it's just not for us, but we yeah. have to pray for other people. That's right. Let me get to the amen. text. Amen, uh, amen. It's a fragrance. We have to understand that, that our flesh stinks. Mm -hmm. uh, met a, a, a old sainted apostolic mother where she can walk and say, I can smell sin. The old uh, mm -hmm. old they can walk and they they knew when you were falling the king. They, they 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 knew when you went to the club last night. They they knew when you wasn't living a holy lifestyle. They they knew it because they they were so anointed of that they can smell sin. And and so therefore the Bible lets us know that back in the day or old school biblical times that that, that the priest was given incense that they believed that the incense would uh, uh, uh would tie up with the prayer and reach the nostrils of God. And because of the sweet smelling fragrance that God will get the prayer. This is how our, our prayers to God was done back in the day. But we thank to be unto God that we don't have to do that no more. That that these instructions were given into the priest for Yom Kippur, but we don't have to do that no more. Leviticus 16, 12, it says, and they shall take the uh, season full of burning coals uh, uh, of the fire from off the altar before the Lord and hands full of sweet incense beaten smells uh, and bring it to the veil. And he shall put the incense upon the fire before the Lord that he, the cloud of incense may cover the mercy seat that he sits upon the Ark of the Covenant and that he did not die. Beloved, it, it was so messed up back in the particular days that, that, that even if the priest had some sin on him, had had some sin in his life, the Bible lets us know that he would, when he go beyond the veil into the holies of holies, he would drop dead. The incense would just fall and that's why they had bells at the end of their robes so that as he walked, as long as they heard the bell jingle and they knew that everything was good but but thanks be unto god that we don't have to do all this no more because now we have a sweet smelling savior and he's <laughs> so they said jesus that we don't have to go beyond the veil because the veil is now ripped and trying but yeah. we God for ourselves they right. oh, like this let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the uh lifting of my hand are uh, the evening sacrifice psalms 141 and 2 our text is the second time we see that prayer is associated with incense raising up before the lord in revelation we have to look at this read read the book of revelation i know people don't understand it but but it'll bless your life it tells you what happens on tomorrow uh the first uh, is in chapter number five has jesus the lamb of god takes the scroll out of the right hand of him who was sitting on the throne Revelation 5 and 8 says like this, when he had taken the stroll, uh -huh, uh, when he taken the stroll, the four living creatures <clears throat> and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them, th their harps, their golden veils are uh, full of uh, odors, which the power, uh, which the prayers, which were the prayer of the saints. What you're saying, Pastor, I'm glad you're saying. We have to understand that our prayers are a sweet smelling savor in the nostrils of God. We have to have a relationship with God. We have to have a relationship. Uh, we have to have a relationship. Our text tells us that that when we pray the saints, they, they, they had the smoke of the incense that went with us, with our prayers. I'm sure that there, there is a uh, the great mystery of the angels is that man neglects to pray. Yeah, uh, uh, men don't often pray. They they much rather spend time watching TV. They much rather spend time on Facebook and and social media. But 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 we as humans, we we don't believe in praying often. We get up, start our day, forget to give God 
uh, some, some a conversation, but I find it interesting. I'm told I'm rude if I will walk on my job and walk past the school safety agent and don't say good morning. How is it that we wake up every morning and and, and God has touched us with His finger? Yes. yes. Tell him good morning. Yeah. Uh, you have to understand the reason why so much hell is going on in your life is because mm. you have a relationship with God through prayer. Yes. Uh -huh. what, what really baffles me and baffles the angels is that people think uh, 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 of prayer as only petition and not when we come to God to just have a simple conversation. Mm. Even if everything else fails, you ought to try prayer. You have yes. to and that prayer is important. Prayer is uh, how we're going to make it in these last and evil days. We already know what's coming down. We read Revelations. We know there's going to be walls and rumors of walls. We know all hell is going to break loose, but you have to have a relationship with God. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A relationship. Let me get up. I got to get out of here. Uh huh. Uh, we, we, we understand. That that as humans and 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 Deacon Cyrus, I remember when he when he met his wife. Man, they will they will go on dates, and no matter how much Matthew and I wanted to hang out, that 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 that, that Keith had to go home. Keith had to spend time with Judy, I, I, and he made sure that he he took time out his schedule. With, with everything going on in his life, that he took time and spent quality time with Judy. Thanks be unto God that it all paid off, that now he's yeah. happy married with, with two children, but it yeah. all started with quality time. Uh, yes, uh, yes. In order for you to build a relationship with your significant other, you have to spend some quality time. You have to go out for some dinners, go out on some dates, and yeah. although you may be busy in your life, although you, you may have everything going on, your friends want to hang out, you want to go and you want to have fun, but but you take time away from your friends and you spend it with your significant other. Uh, yes. uh, um, uh, you 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 know what goes on when you caught in somebody when you in a relationship with your all right, all right. They are fine, and you think they're <laughs> handsome, and, and you're really interested in them. You 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 may have a busy, hectic schedule, but you will pick up your phone. Good morning. <laughs> Beautiful. You 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 yes. Make yes. Time to really converse with them the way you want, but right. but you go your phone in the evening, even have sleep. The text don't make sense, but you know in your mind you say good night, my love. Have a sweet dreams. <laughs> you may not have time to to have a full conversation because all right, all right. Two days my days been hectic got work, out. but but you gonna find time. Take two seconds. To out your day, the, the good afternoon. Did did you eat today? Do you need something? You, <laughs> you take time out to do what you want to do for who you want to do it. Yes, no, yes. for the one they're interested in. I don't care. No matter who told you, oh, I'm too busy. If you're in a relationship and someone told you that they're too busy for you, that means they're not the one for you. That's right. You go yes. find two seconds out your day to send them a message. That's a check on them. Yes. Well, beloved, I have to have to tell you that 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 we we we've mastered spending quality time with our significant other, our boo, our love, sweetheart, our our handsome, our, our chocolate teddy bear. You we we mastered <laughs> them, but beloved, we, we we forget one thing that we have to spend time with our first. Huh. I talk uh -huh. about that uh -huh. man. I talk about that woman, but I'm talking about the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You have yeah. to spend time with the Lord. Yeah. The yes. one that woke you up this morning, started you on your way. All put right, all right. Roof over your head. You have to spend time with That's your right. father, the one who is the author and the finisher of yeah. your. You have to spend quality time with the one who's able to pick you up, turn you around, and place your feet on solid ground. Yeah. Beloved, I told you that prayer is a privilege for them, the select few that know how to do it. You have to spend quality time yes. with yes. the Lord. You have to spend quality time yes. with the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask yes. or think. You have to spend quality time. Yes. With the uh, one who kept you all these years and kept you in your yes, right mind. You yes. should have crazy. You should be in Bellevue. You should be in the who are still here. You have to spend quality time yes. with the one who kept you all these years. That uh, you 
something someone else smoked and they're dead now. You smoked something that was laced with something and it weren't crazy, but you you have to spend quality time with your all right. That's all I came. Yes. To tell you on today that prayer is a privilege. It's a privilege. right. It's, it's a right. It's a benefit. Enjoy. The prayer is enjoyable. Prayer is something you have a conversation and, and you talk to the Lord and he speaks back to you. You have to spend quality time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. The only way we're going to make it in these last and evil days, the only way we're going to survive life uh, after COVID, the only way we're going to make it through with all this going on around us, there's new sicknesses that no one can diagnose. I had a co-worker that just went deaf in one ear. Mm. Doctors, they couldn't figure out what it was, didn't know nothing, couldn't find nothing. I have students that seem like their whole body is filled with mucus. Doctors can't figure out. Doctors don't know what it is. People are being sick and getting sick, and, and we thought COVID was something. Now it's something else, and doctors can't even diagnose it. They can't give a uh, 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 antibiotics too. They don't know what's going on. I got a student out a whole week. We couldn't even find out, couldn't even diagnose the, the issue she had. Just, just keep her home, can't give her no medicine, don't know what to give her. But, beloved, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they tell me that Jesus died on the cross and, yeah. and with him and, and that by every stripes that we are healed. That, that there's a bomb in Gilead. Yeah. That, that there is a man named Jesus that, that he can speak and we are here. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then what I love about God and having a conversation with him, he will bring things back to your remembrance. He said, Listen, I said, yeah. I'm going to go to a place for you. I'm going to leave, but I'm sending the comforter. But 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 we have to understand in this conversation, he reminded me, he said, son, he said, you've read the miracles I've done. You you read me open the blinded eyes. You you read about me healing the sick. You you yes, you, you yes. Know, but but you, you forgot something, son. I said, I said, what well, what did I forget? He said, You forgot the part that I said, greater works shall you do. Yes. He said, no, you have the power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yes. You, yes. you have the power to speak those things or not that as though they are. You have the power to change society because you know the worth of prayer. Yes. So yes. I want to encourage you as we make haste to close this uh, our sermon. We certainly are out of the word, but we out of time. Is that there is a fragrance to prayer that you have to know how to go to God in prayer and have a conversation with him. And he will smell the sweet smelling Savior. And what gets excited in my spirit is that God, that when he gets our prayer, he smells our prayer. He showers down blessings. He he show up and, and show out on our behalf. Beloved, I come to encourage you and tell you that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, go to God in prayer. No matter what obstacles you may be facing, go to God in prayer. No matter what sickness, ailment in your body, go to God in prayer. But if you can have it, God can heal it. Yes. If it comes in your life, God can handle it. Take my yoke upon me and, and, and confide in me, and I will give you rest. God bless you. That's all I have. Amen. 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 Go to God in prayer. Amen. Amen. Prayer Amen. works. Yes. For me. Amen. You want to? You may want to know how to get to know this Jesus, how to accept Him, and 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 how to build this relationship through prayer. It's as simple as A B C. Admit that you have sinned. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And the Bible says that you shall be saved. Do me this favor. Pray with us, if you will. Uh, pray this prayer, dear Lord Jesus. I know that I am a sinner. And I am asking for your forgiveness. I believe that you died on the old work across from my sins and rose from the dead with all power in your hand. So I come now to turn from my sinful ways and invite you to come into my life and to come into my heart. I confess you as my Lord and Savior, and I will follow you as my Christ and King. 
In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I pray this prayer with us. If you have been if you believe in the power of prayer on this morning, I come to tell you that you are now safe and you are in the ark of safety. And I want to say congratulations on making the best decision of your life. If you have prayed this prayer, if you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ with us on today, do us a favor, reach out. Let us know that on this first Sunday in Women's History Want, that on this first Sunday that you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior on March 5th, 2000. 23, send us a text message. Give us a phone call, 646-287-8972. You can email us, theremnantfwc at gmail.com. We are here for you. We are here to help. We are here to encourage. We are here to pour into. We are just a listening ear. We are an intercessor, and we are here to help one another. We believe. Amen. Amen. We are blessed to be a blessing. Yes, I love. If you look throughout the Bible, you always see a woman was there. Yes, the cross. It was a woman was there. Right. Uh, came into the world. A woman was there. So right. I believe that the why the Lord has to be surrounded by so many women is because <laughs> they always there first, and they yes. know how to through. We have some praying men and women at the remnant. We have people who know how to get a prayer through, and yeah. how to get online with God. So we we ask you if you need something. Need prayer. Mm -hmm. Need the encouraging word. Someone yes. just yes out to us, and we'll be so happy to help mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. God bless each and every one to you. May God bless and keep you, and may His face shine upon you. And now unto Him who calls the sun to rule by day, the moon to rule by night, to the only wise God, our Savior, be all glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. It is our a uh, uh, desire here at Remnant that you be blessed, that you be encouraged, and that you expect greater, because God has greater in store for you. Amen. 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 Amen.